How is it going everybody? This is RBT coming at you with week 4 of my Buffalo Bills franchise series. This week we take on the 1-1-1 one, one, one Baltimore Ravens who are the reigning Super Bowl champions. Can the Buffalo Bills come out and get a win the week before rookie EJ Manuel returns from his injury? So can Kevin Cobb lead the Buffalo Bills to a win over the reigning Super Bowl champions? Let's see. Orchard Park is the site for this matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Buffalo Bills. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And I guess the big question, Phil, before kickoff is what do you expect here today? Jim, I expect a hard-hitting game. And this game's going to come down to who can out-hit the other team. Everybody says, yeah, we're willing to fight. Well, we're going to find out, are you really willing to fight? Can you do it for 60 minutes? Because that's what it's going to take to win this game. And here we go, guys. The Buffalo Bills elect to receive and have the electrifying returner, C.J. Spiller, back to receive. And he's going to try to bring it back this the first play of the game and make a spark, but he does not bring it to the 20-yard line. And here we go, Kevin Cobb leading the Buffalo Bills for the last time before EJ Manuel, the rookie, comes back from his injury this upcoming week. Kevin Cobb, first play of the game, down the middle, dropped by Marquise Gooden. So here we go, third and six. Hopefully can convert a first down here and start off fast. There was curl out to Marquise, Marquise Gooden again, and he drops it again. So that's not your your ideal first drive. So the Baltimore Ravens with their electrifying offense has the ball. Joe Flacco, first play of the game, tied in out route to Dennis Pitta, 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 however you want to call it. For the first down, now we start having him in a third and two. Up the middle, Ray Rice, he bounces outside, spin move, a nasty spin move, and he's just making fun of the defense, stiff arm into nobody, and the Baltimore Ravens take a seven nothing lead just like that. Can the Bills answer? Kevin Cobb out of the shotgun, throws a nice little screen pass to Stevie Johnson. Gets a first down, so the Bills now finally get their first first down of the game, but now they're held to a third and nine. Hopefully, we can convert here. Kevin Cobb drops back, looks over the middle. Nobody was open there. Hopefully, his receiver could have made a play there, but he did not. So, after a nice punt, the Ravens have the ball at the three-yard line, second and ten. Hand off to Ray Rice. He bounces outside. He has an excellent vision as it was displayed right there for a nice 17-yard play. So here we go, third and seven. Can we stop him? It would be a huge stop here. But somehow, Deont uh, Deontay Thompson was wide open. They get the first down once again. So next play, first and ten. Ray Rice bouncing it outside. Nobody's going to catch him. And luckily... The linebacker tripped him up there. He would have been gone and been 14 nothing just like that. So second and three, Joe Flacco out of the shotgun. Hits Jacoby Jones over the middle for another big play. So the Ravens offense looking great so far. Our defense is not able to stop them. Third and 11, this will be a huge stop. And it is a huge stop as another pass completed, but it was short for the first down. So the Ravens elect to kick a field goal. And of course, it is good. So the Ravens take a 10 to nothing lead. So this drive is extremely important for the Bills as they want to not be blown out very very quickly so up the middle CJ Spiller bounces outside gets a nice little first down there and the next play quickly third and two under the under the center handoff to CJ Spiller and he does not get it so we decide to play it safe punt the football as we did not take advantage of that drive and score so Ravens football once again first and ten first play a nice pass to the other good tight end Ed Dixon for a first down out of the power eye formation uh, they bring Torrey Smith in motion under center, Joe Flacco hands it off. Ray Rice bounces outside. Great blocks, and he gets another first down. So that's already 93 yards almost in the first half for Ray Rice, about to break 100. So here we go, third and six, a huge conversion here. Can we stop him? And no, Ray Rice breaks 100 yards just like that. So second and 11, we just, we're trying our best to keep this at least a two-possession game. Joe Flacco out of the shotgun looking, and he has Jacoby Jones in space, and he gets a nice 15, 16-yard 
reception there. Next play on a first and 10 from the 30, 32 yard line, Joe Flacco to Ed Dixon, and he's gonna bring it to the two yard line. A nice play in space by Ed Dixon. First and goal from the four yard line. Can we make a goal line stand? Can we keep it a two possession game? And no, we cannot. Ed Dixon with touchdown reception. So just like that, it's a three possession game, 17 to nothing. The Ravens over the bill. So this drive is a must. We must score here to keep this game uh, in reach. Nice first play to Fred Smith there. Kevin Cobb hurry, running the hurry up offense. Looking over the middle. And he finds Stevie Johnson, the best receiver on the team, for the first down. So the Bills quickly call a timeout. First and 10. Kevin Cobb looking. And he finds Marquise Gooden. Finally makes the catch. And he's out of bounds at the seven yard line. Nice play there. And the Ravens defender was hurt. First and goal from the seven yard line. Kevin Cobb looking. Nobody open. And he gets sacked. So they have to call hurry up, trying to preserve their timeouts. Kevin Cobb hurrying up, like I said, calling some audibles. Hands off that play action pass to CJ Spiller. Up the middle, Stevie Johnson with the touchdown. So just like that, the Bills make it 17 to 7. See if the Bills can come back in the second half of this game. I'll catch you guys in just a second for the second half. Now the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. And here we go, guys, start of the second half as the Bills were elected, elected to receive. They have to kick off at the start of the second half, which isn't good because they're trying to, to uh, phase a comeback, and it's just not good when the team that you're losing to gets the ball back up by 10. So here they go, split back formation. Flacco out of the shotgun, dropping back, second and 11. Rolling to the left, all the time in the world, and he finds Devin Reed for the first down. A huge play, 37-yard gain by Joe Flacco. Second and one, Ray Rice in the backfield. Joe Flacco drops back and wide open is Dennis Pitta. I do not know how he got that wide open. Watch the replay here. Uh, the safety just completely got just juked, and they no, they both bit on the curl route, left him wide open. That was horrible coverage by my secondary. So just like that, we're down by 17 just uh, already again and the first play to scott chandler for a nice first down so this play this drive is a must we must score here the game could get ugly another nice play to scott chandler he was the only guy open there and now we have a second and three uh, full wide receiver set play action to cj spiller we're looking we're looking kevin cobb rolling out trying to make a play and wide open to stevie johnson he had a nice route there coming back over the middle to allow kevin cobb to have somebody to throw to so here another big play third and ten a touchdown, I believe, is a must here. We're looking, we're looking over the middle, and Marquis Gooden barely gets the first down. So he's playing good, but he did get hurt there. So it's uh, the Bills have had some bad breaks thus far in this game. So first and six up the middle. CJ Spiller gets in the end zone for the touchdown. So the Ravens are only up by 10. The Bills are trying to slowly, slowly creep back into this game. This would be a huge stop here in the third and 10. Out of the split back formation, Flacco drops back. Looking, looking, and he hits Jacoby Jones for the first down. So we are still unable to get off the field on third down. We have to do better in that situation if we want a chance to win. So first and 10 here, and there's Deontay Thompson wide open, breaking tackles down to about the 15-yard line. So this isn't really what I had in mind for trying to get the ball back and getting back in this game. So the stop would be huge here on third and inches. And it'll be hard to do so with the way they've been running the football. Joe Flacco out of the shotgun, rolling to the left, getting no pressure. Finds a man at the back of the end zone, but he is out of bounds. So the Bills catch a break there. And luckily, the Ravens decide to settle for three. And they're now up by 13. I expected them to go for it, and they did not. So I believe we caught a break there. And maybe C.J. Spiller can make something and, and give this team a spark and get us back in the game. He makes a cut left. And he's going one man to beat, and that's Justin Tucker, the kicker. And he gets past him, and C.J. Spiller is going to take this one to the house and put the Bills right back in the middle of this game. And they will be down 27-21. to 21. And that was a huge play, a game changer possibly. So uh, Ravens now, it's 27-21, got the ball back. And another first down to Deontay Thompson. It was now actually a third in inches, sorry. And third and inches here. We got Bernard Pierce in the backfield and tossed there to him. And a great stop by Williams. Already nine tackles through three quarters. So the first play of the fourth quarter is a 58-yard field goal attempt by Justin Tucker. And I thought it was impossible for him to get him. 
and he barely gets it over the crossbar. That's his 58 yard field goal. That is absolutely ridiculous. So, once again, down by more than one possession is the Buffalo Bills. And once again, this is a must scoring drive. And another great pass and great catch by Marquise Gooden, who's making his, a name for himself after those first two drops in the first drive of the game. And another play here to Marquise Gooden, once again, for another 15, 16, 17 yard gain. So, second and 10 here. Uh, from the 34-yard line, six minutes left in the game. Cobb out of the shotgun. He's looking. He throws a nice pass to Stevie Johnson to the one-yard line. A great pass, great catch, just where his receiver can catch the ball right out of the defender's reach. So, in good position here. First and goal from the one-yard line. Going to hand it up to C.J. Spiller, and he dives for the touchdown. So, just like that, the Bills are back in it, down by two. The coach elected to just kick the extra point, not go for two. So... Baltimore Raven ball once again first and 10 under center Joe Flacco looking no pressure whatsoever the defensive line of the Bills have got no pressure and if you have no pressure you're going to have guys like Torrey Smith making wide open one handed catches in the middle of the field so second and 13 after a sack a motion over the tight end Ed Dixon Flacco on the play action pass and then Dennis Pitta is wide open, and he scores a touchdown after a six unsuccessful dive attempt by one of the secondary players on the Bills. So another just mental lapse by the Bills secondary, and it's allowing the Baltimore Ravens to continue to pile it on. So it's 37-28. The Bills coach decided this is a must. We're not able to stop the Ravens, so we got to keep scoring with them, and it's a fourth down and 10, so we have to go for it, or the game's over, over either way. If we punt it, we don't get it. A nice audible by Kevin Com that allowed Stevie Johnson to run the curl route with the corner playing deep. And he got the first down. So first and ten here. Play action pass. CJ Spiller over the middle. And it's Kevin Cobb to Stevie Johnson once again. Already seven receptions for 144 yards on the game. So the Bills aren't out of it yet. Moving the football. Three minutes left. Looking over the middle. And he finds Stevie Johnson to the outside. Makes a nice move down to the five-yard line. Once again, Stevie Johnson, Johnson's having a heck of a game. Already 173 yards. First and goal from the six-yard line. Hand off to Spiller for the touchdown. So just like that, guys, the Bills are trying their absolute best to stay in this one. It's hard, but they're going to do it, and they're going to try to go for two and make this a one-point game, which would allow them to, even if the Ravens score another touchdown, to allow them to keep it a one-possession game. And Marquise Gooden drops the two-point conversion, so another big break for, for the Baltimore Ravens. So here we go, second and six, a drive, a stop is pretty much required here for the Bills if they want to have a chance to win this game. So you see the Baltimore Ravens are milking the clock. And Joe Flacco heaves it deep. And somehow, Torrey Smith gets behind Williams. And another mental lapse from the secondary. He was playing awful this game. So we're down by 10, just like that. And we seem like the air is out of us. But here, a return from C.J. Spiller could change it. And it's nice return there to the 50-yard line. Another big return from C.J. Spiller sparks the Buffalo Bills offense and hopefully it can lead them to score once again. So here we go, first and 10, a couple audibles by Kevin Cobb. Another curl route audible to Stevie Johnson and he barely gets the first down. So moving the football, uh, clock still running, hurrying, hurry football, hurrying the offense up is Kevin Cobb, the quarterback. A big drop there, but he gets the first down. A big play to Marquise Gooden to the five, to the, well, actually to the six yard line. Kevin Cobb out of the shotgun, first and goal, looking over the middle, touchdown to Stevie Johnson. Who else? Who else making the big play? So it's now a three-point game. So this drive is an absolute must to stop, or the game is pretty much over, even though the Bills have all three timeouts. First and five after a, a constantly offside penalty from Marcel Darius. Handoff to Ray Rice, and he's just breaking tackles, getting right through defenders. A big play. Stiff-arming guys. He's doing anything he can, and he still stands out of bounds. Look at that. About the whole entire Bills defense it took to stop Ray Rice, and even one of the Bills players was down on the play with an injury. The next play, first and 10 after motion. Ray Rice to the outside, and nobody is there to tackle him. The Buffalo Bills defense is playing absolutely pathetic, so pretty much... You can say the game is over down by 10 with 55 seconds left. So it's been a a tough performance, a gritty performance by the Bills. But wait, wait, is it not over? A big play from DJ Spiller brings it back to the 30-yard line. But wait, another huge break for the Ravens, as you'll see in just a second. It's a clipping call, personal foul against the Buffalo Bills. We'll bring them back 
to the 16 yard line so it's about a 70 yard difference in field position and you see another player is hurt the Aaron Williams the free safety is now out for the game has been burnt a lot the so first and 10 from the 16 yard lines it would take an absolute miracle for the Bills to come back Kevin Cobb is rolling out nobody's up and getting pressured and luckily uh, Scott Chandler was open on a short route gets down to bounds smartly so pretty much just having to throw deep every play is the Bills and Kevin Cobb looking and there is a wide open receiver but he overthrows him so third and ten here a huge play the Bills hope is just going down the drain looking for anybody possibly make a play and who else Stevie Johnson makes the catch what a huge play from one of the best receivers in the NFL having another great game he's had a great game every game this season first and ten over the middle Scott Chandler great throw from Kevin Cobb so the Bills are right back in it it's a three-point game, and what do you have to do? You have to do an onside kick. The hope is low, but it's still there. Can the Bills do the impossible and get the onside kick? A drop from the Ravens, and the Bills do get the onside kick. Oh, my gosh. It seems absolutely impossible. So what else? After the big turn of events, the, the Bills decided just to go deep on the first play, and hopefully they can make a big play. Kevin Cobb. Throws it deep to the rookie, Derrick Rogers, out of Tennessee, Chattanooga, and he makes the catch. Touchdown, Buffalo Bills. Did that just happen? The first catch of the game is Derrick Rogers' biggest catch of his career. The ex-Tennessee Vol with the biggest play of the Bills season thus far in an absolute crazy game. It comes down to this last play. The Bills secondary, who's been playing horrible this game, can make one last stop. The game will be over, and the Bills will get a miraculous victory, and Stephon Gilmore gets the interception, and somehow, some way, in a crazy, crazy high-scoring game, the Buffalo Bills beat the Baltimore Ravens 55-51, to one of the best comebacks in NFL victory, uh, wow, in NFL history, the Buffalo Bills continue their toward pace, are now 3-1 leaders of their division in the AFC East. So another big game from Kevin Cobb. Maybe he'll battle EJ Manuel for some playing time if the rookie struggles. I mean, a huge game, 488 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. He had to throw the ball all game and not make any mistakes and kept us in there to the very end, and that played dividends. And there's the play of the game to Rick Rogers. One of the first few catches of his career, the first of this game, was the biggest of his career. So here showing you the stats of the game. So pretty much hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to tune in next week for week five. We'll be taking on the Cleveland Browns like we'll see in just a second. Like I said, man, you have to leave a like on that video on this on this episode of this series because that was one of the best comebacks ever. Absolutely ever. It was ridiculous. Down all game. We stuck in it. We, oh, wow. We stuck in it to the very end. And we got the W one way or the other. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, um, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. And as always, roll tide, go socks, and go tight and shoot. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash s3rtr. Have a great day and make sure you tune in next week for week five or week, week five or week six. Week five. Yeah, it'll be week five against the Cleveland Browns. Catch you guys later. Peace.